obviously, have, you know, being in the chapter when it was around, knowing that you know you have groups like the Cornell, WPI, Hobart, um, having strong groups around the area only makes our job that much easier in potentially starting a chapter here that we can you know call upon those groups you know as we've already seen um, to just help us whether it's with recruitment or helping with the chapter it just makes uh, as a staff just we are more confident about creating a strong group um, so that's where that's where RIT uh, is on our list um, uh, like Ryan said, and uh, you know, as a staff, we're very grateful that you've given us the opportunity to do that presentation uh, in a few weeks, and we're very excited about that. Uh, should that presentation go very well and you get accepted, um, I can give you guys just a, a brief timeline of what that looks like uh, from our perspective. Um, it would start next fall. Uh, we do have two other expansions next fall. We're going to the University of Michigan in Ann Arbor, and we're also going to start at the University of North Carolina in Charlotte. Um, but uh, they don't have a hockey team. Right. Not, <laughs> not a very good one. They don't have a hockey team, do they? I don't no, think so. No. Michigan might have. Michigan has a goal. I'll leave it alone. I'll just see you guys inside. What I can promise you is this. Uh, should we get accepted, you guys will have two to three members of our staff here for a period of three to four weeks doing recruitment. Um, what that looks like is recruiting a core group of guys uh, to start that uh, colony up. What we can do during that time is educate them on how to, uh, how to start a chapter, how to run a chapter, and put them in positions that would work for them to make them very efficient. Um, obviously, we would use uh, all of you as resources in that process, as well as you know, university administration. Um, one thing we're very passionate about is creating an advisory board. Um, obviously, with that advisory board, we'd love to use alumni in positions, but we're also you know, very open to taking suggestions from administration and using people outside of our organization. because. I, I know I've told a few of you, my mom is from the Buffalo area, but that's the extent to which I know this area. I have, haven't been on campus, you know, that's why I trust you guys, as well as, as well as you all, to really help us with that. Um, so creating that, that advisory structure is going to be very, very helpful uh, in starting that group up. Um, after those periods of recruitment, <coughs> after that three weeks to, to a month, uh, you will have somebody here on campus working with that group. Uh, we provide tangible goals for our colonies to reach. Um, in a document called the Compass, which we will, uh, that's something that we will cover more throughout, just one of the things that we do cover throughout the presentation. Um, and that will give them just an idea of what they need to do in order to get to that, uh, that chartering banquet. Um, so they will have somebody here working with them on those goals, how to get there, what they need to do uh, to reach them. And then from there, once somebody leaves campus, it's not just a, you know, see ya, we're, we're done working with you. Um, I always have uh, a cell phone on me that you know a lot of these members can reach me on, and then along with two other uh, staff members that do recruitment and expansion, we are always able to be reached. We're more than willing to help uh, you know our colonies out, and you know that, that's our job. That's what we do. So um, they would definitely have our support there. Uh, so you know, um, I think with that support structure, I'm really excited about this project, and I promise you that if we get accepted in the presentation, you guys will have the full dedication our staff in uh, bringing your chapter back. All right.